What's going on YouTube, Geosno right here, so in today's video I have great news for those of you who have a device that is compatible with the Checkmate exploit. A known setter for downgrades has been released by this guy in here, Matty. So he posted, quote, release Checkmate based known setter for compatible devices. Device support is listed in a readme, will update for the reminder that are listed in the same readme. The script is basically useless unless assigned iOS 13, SEP and basement is compatible with iOS 12. However, I'm going to tell you why this is important. So he released the code in here as well as the files. So this is basically a non setter like GeoSetter or other non setters. But this one allows you to set the nonce on your compatible device without having a jailbreak. So if you're running 13.1.2 for example or 13.1.3 on your iPhone 8 or iPhone 10 or iPhone 7 and so on, even though you're not jailbroken, you're able to set the nonce from your saved SHSH blogs and theoretically perform a downgrade back to 12 point something. Now it's important to keep in mind that for the moment we do not know if any of the iOS 13 SEP and basement components are compatible and these have to be compatible if you want to do a restore. Now when you downgrade your device with SHSH blobs there are two important components that have to match. The SEP which is basically the secure enclave processor which is actually what is responsible for fingerprints and for the uh, passcode and stuff like that. It's basically the secure center of the device and of course the basement which is responsible for the cellular connection for your SIM card and so on. When you restore the other components like the rootfs and so on, these can indeed be from an older version. But you need to restore a newer SEP and basement because these cannot be downgraded to an older version. And usually when we downgrade using the SH SH blobs, what we do is to take a firmware, for example 13.1.2 or 13.1.3, which is currently signed, and take the SCP and basement from that, and of course combine it with the version we want to downgrade to, for example 12.4. Now that can only be done if the 13.1.2, for example, has a compatible SEP and basement with 12.4. Now, that happens from time to time, for example, if the versions are closer together, it's very likely that the SEP and basement works. However, unfortunately, the 13.1.2 uh, and 13.1.3 are not exactly close to 12.4, so I'm not entirely sure if any of the uh, SEP and basements are compatible with that. But there will be moments in the future where 13.1.2, for example, will be jailbroken, and there will be newer versions like 13.2 and so on, which will be available, and 13.1.2 will no longer be signed. And at that point, when you want to downgrade, you can use the 13.2 SEP, for example, and go back to 13.1.2, which at that point will be jailbroken. So this tool is not exactly useless, it's actually very very good. Because this one actually allows you to set the uh, nonce from inside your SHSH blobs for a downgrade, which is actually an important thing, if you cannot set the nonce you cannot downgrade, the blobs are useless. And this one allows you to set the nonce without being jailbroken, which has been a prerequisite before if you wanted to set a nonce. So yeah, no TFP0 required if you want to set your nonce, you just plug in your device, connect it in DFU mode, and if it's compatible, it doesn't matter what version you're running, 13.3, 13.2 beta doesn't really matter. If the phone is compatible with this exploit, which is basically the uh, iPound DFU slash checkmate by Axiom X, then your device can have the non setter. Now, the devices that are compatible with Axiom X's exploit are basically the iPhone 4s all the way up to the iPhone 10 and everything in between. The only devices that are not supported now from the iPhone range are basically the iPhone XS, XS Max, and XR, so these are not supported, and the iPhone 11. These are not supported, but all the rest are supported. So yeah, this is basically a universal known setter and the blobs that you saved with TSS Saver in here or any other working service like TSS Checker and so on or even a Telegram server would basically work with this in here. The problem is having a matching SEP and basement, which may or may not happen, but when you have that and when this is confirmed or when we find a way around the uh, SEP and basement, you will be able to downgrade freely to anything that you have blobs for. So that's why I'm saying save your SHSH blobs. They're very, very important. Without them, you cannot downgrade untethered. 
Now, if you want to downgrade Tether with the Checkmate exploit, that is already possible, but still SEP and Basement will get in the way. So yeah, more work is to be done with that, but the known setter that actually is universal and works with any iOS version on the compatible devices is actually quite good. Currently, the compatible devices are the iPhone 5s, 7 and 7 Plus, and a couple of iPads, but more devices will be supported in the near future. So yeah, keep an eye here on GitHub or follow Matty in here. Now, for those of you who have more questions about the exploit or about jailbreak, check out our jailbreak central forum. The link will be in the description down below. Thank you for watching. I'm Geo Snow, and till the next time, peace out.